With electricity prices going up and up, more people are thinking about getting solar panels on their roofs to help offset those increasing costs. So we've come here to Midsummer Renewables to ask about what solar panels are, how do they work, and the things that you need to know about if you're considering getting some solar on your roof. Save 60 euro when you buy your home insurance online. That makes relaxing at home, well, more relaxing. That's AA Home Insurance for you. Relax. Yellow and black have got your back. So, Katie, what are we looking at here? What, what is this? So this is a solar PV module. Uh, PV stands for photovoltaic. Um, so basically it takes the UV rays from the sun and converts it into direct current electricity. Okay, and how much electricity will this produce? So this particular panel is a 420 watt peak module. So at its peak performance, it'll produce 420 watts. Okay, and when you say peak, what does that mean when the sun's high or it's summer or at what? Perfect location, perfectly south facing, full sunlight, it can produce up to 420 watts. Okay, and if the sun isn't shining and it's not at the perfect pitch and so on, will it just not produce anything or is there a gradient, you know, from zero up to 420? Yeah, no, there definitely is a gradient. As long as there's some UV rays coming through, you will produce some energy, you know, like, of course, there's the myth of that, the, you know, so many clouds in Ireland, you're not going to get any solar um, electricity being produced, but that is absolutely a myth. You can definitely produce solar energy even on a cloudy day. It just might not be as efficient. So do people typically have just one of these or do you have a hundred or, you know, what, what's like for somebody who's thinking about getting solar at home on their house, how many of these would you get? How big is your roof? Um, so you, um, it, yeah, it really depends on how big your roof is and what your needs are. Generally, um, most systems will be kind of four to six kilowatts. Um, so you might, you know, you might get 10, 12 panels on the roof, um, but it's, it, you're quite limited by your size. Um, if you're sort of out in the country, you can get a ground mounted system. Even if you have a load of space outside, you can get several mounted um, outdoors. So this is the other side of the panel then? Correct. What, what am I seeing here? So here you have the connections. So one lead will connect into the other one. They just kind of clip together. Um, so and that's how you form the string of the solar panels. Um, these bars on this particular panel, they're to reinforce the panel so there's no flexibility in it and it will reduce the chance of any sort of micro cracks within the module. And just beforehand, you had mentioned that some panels can have something called an optimizer. And what is that and what does that do? Correct. So you can have uh, an optimized panel, which is basically just a little box that will connect into the wiring and it's bolted onto the back of the module. Um, it allows you to see each individual panel's output. So rather than monitoring it as a full string of panels, say if there's an issue with one of the panels, as an installer, you'd have to go back and find out which panel isn't working. Whereas if you have an optimized system, you can see each individual panel's performance. So it's far easier to diagnose if there's any issues or any reason that um, a module is underperforming, perhaps a warranty claim. Um, it just makes it a lot easier and more straightforward as an installer to go back and service that particular panel. And how long is something like this likely to last? I mean, five or 10 years or? Um, well, this one has a 25 year warranty. So it's guaranteed to last you at least 25 years. And um, there can still be performing at 30, 40, 50 years. So I've decided that I'm getting solar panels on the roof, but we obviously have to, to attach them to the roof. And mm -hmm. this is roughly what we're using then, is it? So what am I seeing here? It is. So these are the mounting hooks or brackets that you'd put on the roof. So you usually attach this to the rafter. You'd take a, your, your um, tile off or your shingle off and you fix that. And then that would stick out, the tile's replaced. And then you have your rail that you're mounting over top of the tile on your roof. And then you have your end clamps, your mid clamps, and the panel would sit basically in there and be affixed to the roof that way. So as we track the journey, sun shines on the panels and you're telling me electricity comes out of the panels and it goes into this. Yes. So what is this? This is an inverter. So it basically converts the DC electricity from the roof and converts it to AC electricity, which is usable in your home. Okay, so all homes, and when we talk about our kettle, our hairdryer, our dishwasher, that's on AC exactly. electricity. Yes. Okay, so where do the wires go and where does, is this connected to the fuse box? Tell me a little bit more about that. Yes, yeah, so I mean, I'm not a qualified electrician, so I'll give you the basic knowledge that I do yeah. have. Um, but all the connections are here underneath, so your installer will be well familiar with this. Um, you can also connect it to Wi-Fi, so then um, all inverters will have an app so that you can actually monitor your, use it, your usage what the panels on your roof are actually generating and what's coming into your home. 
okay, so if I'm at home and let's say we're, I'm looking at the window, it's a nice sunny day, I can actually open up an app and see how much my panels are producing from this box. Absolutely. Wow. And it'll tell me what I'm using at home. Are, are all the apps the same or, you know? All, all of them are a little bit different. Um, most companies will have their own. Um, some of them say might be linked to an EV charger, for example, that might monitor what's going to your hot water diverter as well. So you can track what energy is going where. Okay. And another thing I'd like to know is, are all inverters the same as in, you know, whether you've got two panels at home or 200 panels, do you need the same inverter or are they, they different there? They will all be different sizes. Um, some are single phase, obviously, for a domestic usage, or some will be three phase for um, larger commercial um, installations. We've got three different types of EV chargers here, which is something that you guys sell. So what are we looking at? Do these all do exactly the same thing? Um, essentially, yes, they will charge your vehicle, um, but they have slightly different functionality to it. Um, so um, these two in particular currently match with solar. So if you have solar on your roof, you can divert to your EV charger as well. So you can use excess energy in your electric vehicle. Um, the OMI, I believe, is, is updating their software at the minute, so they should have the same capabilities imminently. Okay. One other thing I notice here is that this one has a socket at the end of it, but these two don't. So what, why is that? Um, it's basically down to personal preference. Um, so basically, um, if, you're, if you're installing chargers at sort of a business or some sort of commercial premises, um, often people will have their own cable in their vehicle. And so they can just plug into the socket. Um, if it's at home, it's just a little bit handier to drive up and plug it in from the wall rather than taking the lead out of your car. Um, it also just prevents wear and tear on the lead if you have numerous people using it on a regular basis. Um, it can just wear out after a while um, in a very busy business setting rather than at home. Thank you very, very much to the team here at Midsummer Renewables for charting that journey for us all the way from sunshine through solar panels, inverters, car chargers, and so on. Really helped to give us a rounded picture of what we need to know about if we're thinking about going solar. If you do want to learn more, head over to the AA website. And if you need to renew your home insurance, please do give us a call. One of our agents will be more than happy to talk you through the process and help you out as best they can.